So we're two minutes now from tip off. <laughs> This being played in the Oblet, of course, which is one of the original centres for our basketball, and in, indoor basketball at least in Ireland. It'll be very interesting to see today if DCU can shoot from the outside. They've lost Michael Chubb, uh, Pat Glover not here. And Mark Nagel as well. And two of those in, in Nagel and Glover are great shooters. Pat was a great score for them last year so it'll be interesting to see if they can replace and even improve on captains for the game for DCU is Owen Quill and for Temple Oak is Shane Homan as I said, I'll repeat the starting fives. You've got Owen Darling, Owen Quill, James Gilmartin, James Donnelly and Peter Lynch for DCU. For Temple Oak, we've Dan James, Luke Thompson, Phil Taylor, Baylock Morrison and Wayne Houston. So DCU starting out smaller than I expected. Martins is not starting either as Mike Trimmer. But still size with Peter Lynch inside. But at least if there's only one big man on the floor, Temple Oak will be able to counteract it with Wayne Houston, hopefully. today for this game in the Oblet as its first for Temple Oak up at the top ranks of Ireland and here we go DCU starting out with an isolation pick and roll and Lynch with a nice spin move inside for two straight away the big men inside Morrison brings the ball down. A very strong defensive team, DCU. With strong defenders everywhere, Quill and Darling in, in particularly. Not a very strong move from Wayne Houston, first of all. Positioning was good and they got the isolation, but he couldn't do anything with it. Again, DCU going to the post. You'll see this early and often. Peter Lynch again for two. That's four points quickly for him. Temple O, though, get the ball down the court very quickly. And score. Phil Taylor. He's an impressive scorer. As I've watched him last year in the National League. Again, the high screen and roll. Dan James gets the ball for the first time for Temple Oak in the Premier League. Strong defense again from DCU from David Donnelly. Much slower ball from DCU. Much more structured. They go to the same play once again. And a nice finish inside for Owen Darling. Phil Taylor with the ball. Not a lot of movement from Temple Oak. One on one scoring for Phil Taylor is of great strength. Wasn't a great offense, but somehow he scores anyway. <laughs> Mitch 
miss inside, miss inside. Tempelo get it inside to Houston. And he gets fouled. Much stronger move that time. Got a player on his back. He makes the first. <laughs> Tempelo tied up at the two free throws. DC so far really utilizing the top pick and roll. And it seems to be doing quite, a, quite an effect as they get inside once again. Nice move inside from Peter Lynch. He's been great inside so far. Temple Oak looking a bit stiff in their, in their static offense. They get it inside. Travel called inside. DCU's defense is fantastic. Throughout the year last year, they shut down teams in, in for whole quarters. Owen, Qu Owen Quill inside is fantastic. So is Owen Darling out in the wing. A very strong man-to-man -man defense. They're not really afraid to match up with anybody. Football called TCU ball. Another screen. And a basket for Owen Quill. Everything that's good that happened for DCU so far has come off that high screen. You have to think at some stage, screens are gonna have to be split or they're gonna have to switch on them. Luke Thompson for two, nice pull up jumper. David Donnelly with the ball up top. Of course, his brother coaching the team. Quill from outside misses. Offensive rebound. Inside, Peter Lynch draws a foul. Everything is inside, everything. really dominating the game early on the offensive end. And he makes two more. Temple Oak down by four with 5.40 left in the first. That was the first three for Temple Oak, first three in the game. Missed, unfortunately, by Luke Thompson. The physicality at DCU seems to be hampering a lot of Temple Oaks defensive sets. So then, Morrison out. So Fagan with the ball for his first touch as a Premier League player. Phil Taylor for three, misses. Easy rebound inside for Peter Lynch. Darling bringing the ball down the left side again. David Donnelly for three, misses.
everything going through Owen Darling at the start of this match. Gets in trouble. Gets the ball out to Donnelly. Fast break opportunity. Phil Taylor's up. And good. Great lead pass from Dan James. That's something that Temple Oak have to take advantage of. If you're getting beaten over inside, that means those players too deep and you've got to get out quick. Owen Quill for two. Nice basket. TCU's offensive sets are causing havoc with Temple Oak. Tons of movement, tons of screen. People are getting open along the baseline and for post-ups easily. Corner three, misses. Some of these have to start going down for Temple Oak to stay in this game. David Donnelly misses the easy shot, unusual for Donnelly. Well done, Dan James collecting that ball. He misses too. Possibly some nerves from Temple Oak early on. Shots that we missed that should really be made. Shots that I know that this team can make after watching them. Either Dan James in UCD or watching some of these players in National League last year. High screen and roll again. Good defense from Wayne Houston staying stood. But it's an early three. Oh, and darling. Doesn't matter once it goes in, doesn't have to look pretty. <laughs> Three minutes to go in this quarter. Temple Oak down early, seven. A lot of nerves, though. They probably should still be in this game. A few shots they've missed that should have gone in, but still early days. Martins in the game for the first time. So is O'Keefe. O'Keefe, early shot, just off. Temple Oak running the floor nicely. And a basket for Luke Thompson. They get the ball down early and quick. They have a much better opportunity to score. Especially now that there's what you call three big men on for DCU and, and Martins, who has an offensive rebound here. Foul inside on Dan James. But with Lynch, O'Keefe, and Martins in the game, you'd think that Temple Oak have a much quicker chance to get out and break. DCU so far have been absolutely surgical with their screens. And look for more coming off this here. Early shot up. Windows open all over the place. Don't blame the shooter. Dan James pulls up. Easy. And Temple Oak pulled this back to one. Temple Oak will score in bunches throughout this year with the youth and the speed that they have. Much easier to get excited when you're young. Martins catches the ball at the high post. Easy miss for him. So big. Two early misses for Martins inside, but Donnelly puts it back anyway. Padding rebounds. Dan James takes the ball, controls it out. Dan James for three. Oh, just off. Good play from Martins. Puts it off a Temple Oak player for a DCU ball. Substitution in. Mike Trimmer comes in for Peter Lynch. Mike Trimmer playing his theoretical 48,000th game in Irish basketball. Connor James comes over for help. Mike Trimmer pulls up, misses. Temple get the ball again and are breaking quickly. Connor James for three. Oh. 
GCU selecting not to push the ball early. Dave Donnelly with a great move inside. Leads back up to five. TCU in a zone. Phil Taylor for three. He makes it. Not a great offense, but hey, three paints come out of it. Owen oh, Darling, very strong inside. Bullied his way inside. So 10 seconds left in this game. Five, Dan James for three. He misses. Now we come to the end of this. Temple Oak down by five. All right. Um it's obviously uh, a very big night. No, sorry, I'm here with Niall Brady, PRO of Temple Oak Basketball Club. Very big night for Temple Oak. Easy question, but probably a hard answer. What does it mean for the club? It's a very big day in our history of our club. We're 27 years in existence, and now we're actually at the top level of Super League basketball. Um, a lot of work has gone on through the years on, in the underage, and thanks to Michael James and also Tom McLaughlin that most of these players here tonight are actually part of the underage programme. And even over this weekend, we actually have an under-15 All-Ireland uh, tournament uh, in the name of Michael James Memorial Tournament. So again, we're just looking all the time at our underage programmes and building on that, and that's what we want for this. It's really an exciting uh, future for Temple Off Basketball Club. That underage work has obviously been put to good stead. It's a tight game here. How do you see the rest of it faring? Our defence, if we have to keep working on our defence, once we keep our defence, keep them from scoring, we're going to win. We will win. Excellent. Well, optimistic mood. Eddie, I'll switch it back over to you. Second quarter coming up now. Philip Neary in for his first minutes for DCU. Temple Oak remain unchanged from the first quarter. Temple Oak are very patient against this zone. That was a good looking offense. Donnelly with another great finish inside. Ball gets inside, very well. great move from Phil Taylor. And one. Looking like Ike Taylor the way he beat his man. Luke Thompson back in the game. And Phil Taylor finishes off his three-point play. This is where DCU have been very dangerous in their set offense. Getting easy opportunities off big screens and big bodies. Football. David O'Keefe got caught in the corner. It was a poor pass. Look for a shot in the corner off this. There it is. Inside to Martins. Phil Taylor looked like he could have been a passenger there if only he hadn't dropped the ball. Great ball moving from Temple Oak. Rare miss from Dan James. DCU pushing the ball now. David Donnelly from miles away. Connor James up top for three. Ooh. Game's opening up a lot now. Looks very ragged.
Another screen up top. Mike Trimmer from the outside. Easy basket. He's been doing that for a while. Temple Oak have moved the ball very well against, against this DCU zone. Nice pass. Temple Oak have missed pretty much every outside shot they've taken. And they've had some very good open looks. They've played a lot better against the zone than they have against the man. Nice pass inside. Martin scores inside. Luke Thompson makes another. He's the only one so far scoring easily. Shooting well from the outside. Temple Oog take their first lead of the game of 24 to 33. Foul before the shot. Fouls on Dan James. from outside. Nice jumper from Houston. Doesn't have to look so upset, it went in. Mike Trimmer backing him down. Little jump hook. Oh, Phil Taylor with a good rebound. Nice move inside again from Houston. Just rims out. Two free throws coming up. Houston's beating Trimmer down the floor and getting to the spot early, so it's easier for Temple Oak to get the ball inside. Back in comes Peter Lynch. Just as I said, he makes the change. Houston makes the first, he's 100% so far. And he makes his fourth. Temple Oaks defense has improved quite a bit in the first, since the first quarter. Another high screen, well defended though. David O'Keefe makes the outside shot. Nice move inside. Oh, he's just missed. Foul is inside. Early foul on Houston for pushing off, anticipating a screen a bit too early. Doesn't look happy, but then again, he's yet to look happy. Oh, nice hands from Houston. Good defensive play to get back in the game for him. DCU pressing up. Or Nice pass inside. 
Easy basket for Captain Peter Holman. Shane Holmes, excuse me. DC have gone back to that high screen on the left side. Nice move inside from Lynch. He has been clinical so far. Houston outside now. He's gonna take Lynch. Bullies him inside. Timeout taken, DCU. Peter Lynch so far for DCU has been fantastic. Both inside. Inside he's been surgical, he's made everything. And for Temple Oak, Peter Houston has 11 points to lead Temple Oak. Temple Oak have been much more dangerous when they push the ball and push the tempo. It's supposed to be a two, it's now 3.30. The DCU Mercy game tomorrow versus the Liffey Celtics in DCU support Sports Complex will no longer be at 2 o'clock, it will be at half 3. And it will be a barn burner. So DCU to inbound the ball, 5 minutes left in the second quarter. David Donnelly and Owen Darling have shared the ball at the top for this whole game. David O'Keefe up the top. Another basket for him. Confident start after his first miss. Nice little dish off. Didn't come to anything. Houston up top for three. And he makes it. He moves on to 14 points. He may not look happy, but he's playing well. Nice movement here. Owen Darling has beat his player again and again. Looks very strong. Let's see if Dan James can mark him any better. He comes in for, for Sean Carroll who's done his very best to try and keep Darling off the ball. Quill giving a lot of room outside. Nice offensive rebound from Lynch. He has really been the rock in that defense. Offense. Inside again to Houston. Jumped the pass, but it's out to, Dan, out to Luke Thompson. Keith just out. Foul before the shot. So David O'Keefe leaves the game for James Gilmartin. O'Keefe leaves on four points. Shout out to Kieran Ryan and, and Paddy watching. Very nice is. Good lads. Temple Oak down by four. Lynch makes it five. Misses his first free throw of the game. 
lead stays at five. Houston isolated, puts a move on. Dishes out to Connor James, makes the three. Temple Oak within two. Lynch, too easy inside. Phil Taylor looks like a passenger inside. Connor James gives it to Houston on the side. Nice move on the block from Houston. Oh, great save from Quill. DCU's offense, especially its set offense, has lost a bit of its sharpness. You can put that down to better defense from Temple Oak. Connor James comes out for Sean O'Connor. There's that shot from the corner off the inbounds. David Donnelly's been doing that for a while. So two minutes left in this game. Phil Taylor from outside. Decent pass out to the other side. Sean Houston from way over. Oh my goodness. He was standing beside me for that one. That gets the crowd here going. And an offensive charge from Dan James. Timeout taken, Temple Oak. Nice little run here for Temple Oak to finish the second quarter. Just to put that three from Houston into context, I'm closer to the basket and I'm sitting up on the top of the bleachers here. Let's see now if this timeout doesn't take its toll on the momentum that Temple Oak had built up. Only down by three. Had a great game of basketball so far now. Here we go, high screen for Dan James. Martins comes out to trap. Sean O'Connor hits the ball. Foul. Below, getting much more motion on their offense as Dan James pulls up. Nice basket. Temple Oak trail by one. Crowd getting much more into this now as they win their first Premier League game. Oh, move inside. Suspicious like a travel, but obviously not if the fine refs don't call it. Peter Lynch has been fantastic in this first half. Phil 
Joe Taylor with a high screen here. Turns the corner. And he's up. Foul. Nice move from Phil Taylor. Turned the corner really well after that screen. Makes his first. Makes a second. Eighteen seconds remaining. Temple Oak will get the ball back with about two seconds remaining, and they steal it. Foul on Martins. So Temple Oak here with eight and a half seconds to go. Score will put them up going into half time. I take it back, it's free throws. So Dan James to the line for two. Misses his first. Makes a second. So eight seconds to go. DCU of the ball. Darling bringing it up. Great stay off from Phil Taylor. Needs to get it up. Lost the ball. Oh. So we have a tie game. Maybe people wouldn't have realized beforehand. You happen to use Dan James a lot at the point guard spot. He would have been thought of as being one of your major scorers. Phil Taylor has stepped up with some good baskets. Where else are you going to get the scoring from in the second half? Who's going to step up for you? Well, in this gym, I think Luke Thompson will step up, can hit the outside shot, Connor James. And I think there's a lot more to come from Wayne Houston as well in the second half. Finally, had a little bit of problem with Peter Lynch, DCU's American. I think he's got 17 points at the half. Anything particularly that you want to see the guys do differently against him in the second half? We want to force him left. We'll force him left. Right. Very simple. Mick, thanks very much. Best of luck in the second right. half. Eddie, let's go back to you. Great first half of basketball here in the Oblet. Scores are tied at 46-46. Temple Oak made a great run of it. And DCU have looked very sharp throughout it. Excuse the screaming, but uh, there's a half-court contest just about to take place. And it appears a mammy has been chosen, but hey, I think it might be too late for that. So, Peter Lynch has been fantastic so far in this match. He's really scored well, and Phil Taylor, who's marking him, has struggled with him, with his size. But on the other end, Phil Taylor has played well. And so is uh, Wayne Houston, who, adding on to that ridiculous three he took, has played well inside. A few soft moves, expecting too much off it, but he looks like a decent player so far. I don't have high hopes for this half-court shot, but, but I, I believe... It might bounce in. No, it didn't. Never mind. DCU's early offense was fantastic. It was a real clinic. It was screens at the top were strong, getting the ball handler open. Most of the time, it wasn't even needed. Uh, they weren't even needed to uh, for the roller or anything. DCU Saints head coach Dave Donnelly. Dave, were you expecting that much of a battle from Temple Oak first game in the Premier League? Oh yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, they have a talented team, you know. I was under no illusions coming in here that they were going to put up a great challenge. They have very experienced players in the James Butters and Phil Taylor's been in the league a long time. So even though they're a new team to the league, those players are new and their American is obviously very good as well and he's been making shots from, from all angles. So it's, it's causing us some difficulty, but we feel we're playing well as well. 
and we're right in the game and we're, you know that's a good situation to be in at half time. And your own American has done very well, Peter Lynch, uh, obviously a new name to viewers at home. Um, you've discovered quite a talent there, are you happy with the way he's gone in the first yeah, half? Yeah, he's been excellent, you know, he's been very good, he's very active and uh, they, they're finding it hard to guard him as well uh, uh, on our offensive end. So we want to keep going to him uh, in, in those situations, look to, to exploit that, you know, they find it very hard to, to match up with him, either with size or with his quickness if it's somebody bigger is guarding him. So we're going to look to continue to exploit that. Final thing I might ask is, people who know DC Saints back over the last couple of years, your brother Emmett would have been the main guy to be in control at the end of game situations. Looks like we could have a tight one on our hands here. Who are going to be the perimeter guys that you're going to be looking to to be leaders out there on the floor to control things at the end of the game for you? Uh, well, we've got Owen Darling and James Donnelly as our two guards, our two main guards. With Philip Neary coming off the bench, so those guys are going to be the guys with the ball in their hand, and I'm very confident that they can do a good job. Jay, best of luck in the second half. Thanks very much. No problem. Obviously, uh, people might remember that Emmett Donnelly, uh, who played with DCU Saints, he's actually retired this year, so he's not playing with them this season. Behind me was a half-court shot competition, which Temple Oak wanted me to mention. Um, that's just finished up now. Teams are back warming up. We're going to go back up to you, Eddie. Coverage of the second half coming up in the next couple of minutes. Thank you. So, second half starting up soon. Peter, T Peter Lynch has 17 points in the first half. A great output. But Houston's not far behind him matching him. It'll be interesting to see if any defensive changes on, uh, on Peter Lynch. As, uh, so far, it's been Phil Taylor who's been a little undersized against him. Peter Lynch is a big man. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any changes. They made changes against the high pick and roll. They started going under. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a big difference in Temple Oaks' attitude towards Peter Lynch. On DCU's side, you got to keep doing what you were doing in the first quarter. you got to keep attacking that top, making the smaller guards that were marking Owen Darling get off screens and already be at a disadvantage. If he can turn the corner faster, he's going to beat his man. He's bigger than most of the point guards in this league. Other clubs around the league, it'll be very interesting to see. Obviously, the two Jameses left UCD Marion. It'll be interesting to see how they cope. Obviously, with Owen Chubb and Michael Chubb joining them, so that's a big get. But will it be like for like? God only knows. Jason Killeen and Rob Taylor leaving uh, UL, that's very interesting, so they're going for three in a row, it'll be interesting to see if they can do it, they're two huge losses, obviously the early, early favourites is De uh, Demons, and uh, with coach player O'Reilly who's just come from, um, back from the BBL, who uh, when he left the BBL were a big loss, he seemed to, seemed to have a great following over there. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. And obviously Darren Towns returning for Neptune, one of the biggest players last year. It'll be great to see it. So now we're back. Second half of basketball. So Donnelly and Darling up on top again. Straight away back into Peter Lynch. Again being marked by Phil Taylor. And again it's too easy. Great block inside. But he gets to the basket very easily. Again, changes might have to be made, but if they can't even be made, God knows. Houston hands off to Dan James up at the top. Dan puts a move on, hangs in the air, can't finish. Great rebound, Connor James up the top. This ball swung around the top. Great pass inside from Dan James, and a foul. Great pass from Dan, nice take from Houston. Second foul on Peter Lynch. Houston's been great from the line so far. So Houston misses both. Screen up top again, and yet again they go under. They've eliminated that nearly. It's an easy pull up for David Donnelly. 
D1 result for you. Kilkenny, 60. Thunder, 72. Thunder win their opening match. Puff Summers for Kilkenny at 16. And the pick for Thunder, probably Kev Lacey with 15. Stolen. Oh, and darling. Oh. Looking inside again. Oh, and Quill outside. Darling for three. Misses. And Dan James pushes the ball. Houston inside again. Nice little move. Just misses. Martin, offensive foul taken by Connor James. That's an offensive foul taken each from Dan James and Connor James. Temple are going under most of the screens on the sides there, and it's eliminating pretty much all of DCU's ability to get around the corner quicker. And David O'Keefe prepares to check back into the game. Phil Taylor setting a screen here for Dan James. Dan pulls up, just off. James Gilmartin comes out for David O'Keefe. Great pair of goggles on David O'Keefe, looking like the white worthy. Screen across the top, just for Peter Lynch. Nothing comes from it. And he has it on the low block. Nice little move. Misses. That's better from Phil Taylor, staying between him and the basket. The pull up in traffic. Ooh, great rebound from Connor James. And one. Great follow from him. from Connor James. Temple Oak down by two. Seven minutes left in this uh, third quarter. Screen up top. Again, nothing comes from it. It's no longer the weapon that DCU had. Ball's up top. Owen oh, Quill, not a great shot. Great offensive rebound from David O'Keefe. Nice move from Peter Lynch. Fouls on Dan James. Two shots upcoming. <laughs> Peter Lynch misses his first. Makes a second, puts DCU up by three. Bit of a slower start to this quarter. Both teams probably figured out each other. Easy shot missed there after the miscommunication with DCU. Yeah, it's a much slower start to this third quarter. Don't know if that's down to tiredness. It is the first game of the season. Could be that, could be defenses figuring each other out. And Quill outside. Oh, nearly drops in. And Lynch gets another rebound. And he's gone to the line for two more. Disregard that, it's not two shots. In comes Sean O'Connor. Recently back from his Moby lookalike competition. Owen oh, oh, Darling, nice shot off the opposite side. 
Most of DCU's shots from inbounds have come from that right side there, but that time Darling spread out to the left. Makes a nice shot. Houston misses the easy one inside. And Sean O'Connor with a silly foul there. Literally could have done. Easy miss inside though from Houston. These are the baskets you gotta make to keep in contention in this game. They've showed that they're more than capable to be in and win this game. Nice hands from Sean O'Connor. Nice steal from Phil, Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor with great defense getting in front of him. Peter Lynch, with the exception of those free throws, probably hasn't been as effective as he was. You can put that down to Phil Taylor's added extra. It's all about the high-tech equipment here in basketball in Ireland. Phil Taylor takes the ball outside. Houston, two very big steps. Darling breaks it. Got a man to his left. He's going to take it all away. Oh. Not a popular call here. On Sean O'Connor, Phil Taylor came in after him for a big block. Oh, and Darling misses the first. Now he makes a, makes a second. His aggression on offense has been absolutely fantastic and second to Lynch has been DCU's best weapon so far. So much bigger than most of the point guards in this league. Such an advantage as Dan James, blocked by David O'Keefe. Great play for Owen Quill to throw it off Dan James who's out of bounds. DCU ball. Great block from David O'Keefe. O'Keefe playing well for a man who didn't play at all last year. Nice move. Lynch with another offensive rebound. Dribbles out of bounds though. That was a nice screen over the middle there for Owen Quill. Unfortunately missed the shot. So we five minutes left. Temple Oak down by six. It's only the third quarter but Houston's come out. Dribbled off his foot. Unfortunate for Stephen Fagan. He's getting a second run out in this game. Nerves undoubtedly are playing a part in this. As Martins comes back in, and they've that 3-0 of big in, uh, in Peter Lynch, David O'Keefe, and Martins now. Martins coming across for a screen. He's a big body. Stephen Fagan was trying to keep Martins out there, and as you can see, it's a bit unfair. Timeout taken, Temple Oak. They're going to have to get a big back in, probably Houston, to try and counteract the big lineup that DCU have put out. With the exception of Trimmer, there couldn't be a bigger lineup out there for DCU at the moment. So there's going to be a lot of balls inside. There's going to be a lot of close to the basket plays. 
But obviously, as I said before, I mean, if they're going to have big players out, you've got to run. In the Women's Premier League, it finished Colester 54, Brunel 67. So Women's Premier League, Colester lose their first game at home to Brunel. Sullivan at 18, Menendez had 20 for Brunel. So free throws coming up for Martins. This is the first. This is the second. Rebound, Dan James. Up top for O'Connor. Phil Taylor puts a move on Martins. Nice move, and one. Great take from Phil Taylor. He hung in the air and finished strong. Phil Taylor misses the and one. Temple Oak down by four here. In these set offenses, they have to be careful now with the size inside. A lot of screens inside if you watch for DCU. It'll usually be okay for Lynch setting a screen for Martins. Here's that play again. And Donnelly fires quick, but he misses. Rebound Taylor. Taylor for three. Ooh. Nice pass from David Donnelly. Back out to Donnelly. To O'Keefe. Oh, from O'Keefe. Lynch, another rebound. They're staying. They're not... Very good for... From Temple Oak as they semi-double. They hedged on on Peter Lynch, stopping his ability to drive to the centre, forcing a bad pass. Phil Taylor with a great pass inside. Unfortunately, Owen's shot was blocked. Oh, nearly a great basket. Foul called and David Donnelly will be Temple Oak ball. David Donnelly visually perplexed as how the referees are progressing this game, which is strange. It's unusual too. But Dan James to the line for two. Makes the first. Makes the second. So Temple Oak down by two. Three minutes left, very low scoring quarter. Great defense there. Fantastic getting the hands in the way of Martins from the lob pass. Phil Taylor. Ooh. Ooh. Good defense from David O'Keefe as Phil Taylor forces the issue. TCU haven't got anything going to the basket in, in a long time, but now they're doubling Lynch. Nice move from David O'Keefe. Everyone is helping off with Peter Lynch, and he made the most of it. That's 
great defense inside on Martins. They're a man down. Captain Shane Homan has just come in and has done a fantastic job on, on the inside, denying the ball very strongly. Gave away a foul there, but still, his overall play has been fantastic, getting hands in. And he comes out now for a breather to be replaced by Houston, who at this stage really has to keep up with that energy that he's set out. And Trimmers come in the game for Lynch, for DCU. So Martins to the line for two. He hasn't shot well yet and he misses another. He misses another. Hacker Provisors is probably not gonna catch on, mostly because it's very difficult to say. Phil Taylor inside again to Houston. Travel on Houston, who got bumped by Martins. Quill comes in for Martins. inside, stolen by Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor with a great move inside. He's played really well, especially in transition. He's a target and he's a good player. 140 left in this quarter. Owen Darling pulls up, misses. Creds getting back into it now for Temple Oak. Luke Thompson misses. Don't think I've seen Darling get to the rim yet in this quarter, which, judging by how effective it's been in the last two quarters, it's very surprising DCU haven't tried it. Great little finish inside from David Donnelly. James Donnelly, I think I've called him David for the entire game. I'm not upset about it, don't worry. Dan James kicks it out to Taylor. Just off. Great rebound inside. Dan James and puts it back. So, Temple Oak down by two. James Donnelly forces it up. Goes flying to the ground. Foul's called. So Stephen Fagan comes out to be replaced by Sean Carroll. And James Gilmartin's Martin's back in to replace or yeah, back in replacing David O'Keefe. O'Keefe's played very well defensively and offensively. Really, really taking advantage of all the of all the attention Peter Lynch is getting on offense. one. Dan James controls the ball at the top now. Houston out to the middle looking for it. He takes it all the way. Houston with a rebound, puts it back up. Oh. He'll go to the line for two.
he shot well from the line so far so of course he misses that one So, two-point game, seven seconds left. Quill in the corner, overshoots it, and that'll end the third quarter. Action is heating up here. The temperature itself is heating up here, but the near side stands are packed, basically to bursting. It's very hot down here in the court for the players. Could be interesting to see fitness levels as they go on in the fourth quarter. Of course, there's games like this going on around the country today and tomorrow. Best way to keep up with all the action is to like the Basketball Ireland Facebook and Twitter pages. You can find the Facebook page at B-Ball IRL. You can find the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash BB Ireland. Every weekend we're updating the results, scores from both teams, halftime scores and the top three scores from both teams. Of course, that's a matter for another evening, I guess. Right here, it's all about the fourth quarter. Can Temple Oak start off their Premier League season and their Premier League career with the win. It's a two-point game here at the moment. Eddie, back up to you for the third, for the final fourth quarter. So, start of the fourth quarter. Two points in it. Temple Oak down by two. Much lower scoring th uh, quarter in the third. There's only 13 being put, scored by DCU and 11 by Temple Oak. Much lower than the first half. Oh. Good challenge there from Mike Trimmer. Nice move from Donnelly. Oh. Can come out and it put in when he thought he was going to stay out. Turnover for DCU. Sean Carroll controlling the point now, off to Thompson. Handoffs across the top have been a big part for, for Temple Oak, both as a get out and for their offense. Phil Taylor, nice move inside, hangs, just misses. Donnelly pulls up, off, rebound, Dan James. Tiredness looks to take effect now, as it is only the first game of the season. There's only so much preseason you can do. Trust me. So I step in from Carroll. He ties up the game. The tempo of the game has slowed a lot. Big puff of the cheeks from Dan James. First 12 seconds of that was just nothing. A man standing with a ball. Awful offense from DCU. Taylor puts a move on, dishes inside, poor pass. That fast break was last, lackluster. The air really has gone out of the lungs here. We apologize if the scores are, are slow to update on your screens. We're looking into it now. Great pass inside, big block from Houston. Let's see if that'll put a bit more juice into the legs. Ball comes in again. Oh, foul inside. It was a great block from Houston. If anybody says to you that that ball was on its way down, don't mind them, they just hate fun. Interesting. Uh, 
bit confused about that, but hey, it went in. That's one ridiculous three each as Phil Taylor pulls up. Way too strong. <laughs> Ref thought that went in, but uh, most definitely didn't. David O'Keefe checks back into the game. Back in for James Gilmartin. So after that makeable three, DCU lead by three. Their offense looks a bit better now. Back into their screens and movement. And Darling getting to, oh, well. Nice strip from Houston. He runs the floor. Nice tip in from Phil Taylor. We'll put it down as an assist. Owen oh, Darling gets to the basket again. He has been absolutely fantastic going to the rim. Balls inside. Nice move inside from Houston. Offensive foul, apparently he dropped the shoulder. to the rim again he's been much quieter in the second half but again he gets to the rim nice pass inside out to Taylor for three oh. Peter Lynch Peter Lynch with a strong rebound probably pushed him off but a technical foul has been called on Houston So Quill goes to the line for the free throw. Makes the first. DCU will get possession of the ball after this again because of the technical foul. Quill makes both. Big moment in the game now for Temple Oak. A stop and a score put them right back in it, down by seven at the moment. Quill takes the ball at the top. Donnelly's back in the game for DCU. Calls going against Temple Oak here. Still down by seven. So DCU inbound the ball, 14 seconds on the shot clock. Timeout taken for Temple Oak.
Tempelog really need to stop here in a basket. At this stage in the game, it's probably unlikely that they're going to get many breakaways. People are tired. First game of the season, heavy legs and all that. But it's something they need to do against the size that DCU can throw at them. For DCU, they're getting the ball back to Lynch again. He got fouled there. He's making plays down the other end with the big rebound. Everything so far that's been very good for them has gone through him. And they need to get him on the low block again off the screens in the middle. Again, we're sorry if the score and time doesn't update as quickly as it should. It is an issue we're looking into. The Oblet's been fantastic tonight. Everywhere is absolutely packed. Crowd's been very good. It's great to see Temple Oak, the Temple Oak Red that I've played against for so many years, finally in the Super League. Such a big club, such a great following. And they've more than held their own here. Ah, oh, easy, easy basket. Everybody predicted the screen to the far end. And James Donnelly just slipped the screen. Very well done. That puts them down by nine now. Dan James in the corner. Misses. Rebound by Lynch. Donnelly to bring the ball down. Darling stops in the paint. Misses. Nice tip from Taylor. Taylor pulls up. Makes a basket. Looks very confident shooting the ball. He's very good in semi-transition. Semi Connor James stops the ball inside. Lynch is getting to the post whenever he wants. It's a real danger inside at all times. Let's see what happens now with this with this play. Much better defended by Temple Oak. Connor James with the reach. So we four and a half minutes left. Seven down for Temple Oak. First quarter has ended and Colester are up twenty-three to eighteen. Stanley makes the first. And he makes the second. So Temple Oak down nine. Phil Taylor with the ball at the top. Connor James. Pass inside. Out to Luke Thompson. Makes the basket. Down by seven. Donnelly will bring the ball down. Temple Oak really need a stop here. Another football. Substitution for Temple Oak. In comes Houston. Lynch still being marked by Phil Taylor. Big size difference. Here he comes up for the screen. Well defended by Temple Oak. Donnelly from far out. Oh, that is a dagger. Temple Oak down by 10 now. Phil Taylor with the ball out in the wing. Dan James is passing into the middle for Houston. Up. Juggles the ball. DCU ball. Easy miss inside by Houston. So we have three minutes 40 left. Temple Oak down by 10. DC have just pulled away. Great block inside by Luke Thompson, but the ball kicks out to Darling. Swing pass to David O'Keefe. 
who's out of bounds. Turnover ball, GCU. Timeout taken, DC, or Temple Oak. That's their last timeout. Phil Taylor has 17 for Temple Oak. David Donnelly has 20, and Phil or Peter Lynch has 22 for Temple Oak. Those two have been very strong. You expect it from Donnelly, but or Lynch has been absolutely fantastic today. Temple Oak, Phil Taylor scored very well in the first and second half. Although he may have struggled against the size of, of Lynch inside, you can't say he hasn't done his job in the offensive end. Fantastic in transition, and when the transition breaks down, he's also very good. He looks very comfortable at this level. So, 3.23 left in this quarter. Dan James brings the ball down into Luke Thompson. Hand off across the top. Connor James pulls up. Too long. Darling, getting to the rim. He's been fantastic. I don't envy. I don't envy Luke Thompson's job here. It was he's a big man, Owen Darling. It's the same with Phil Taylor. There's only so much you can do with your God-given physical abilities. Yeah. Darling, very cool on free throws, makes his first. Pushes the lead out to 11. This is for the lead 12. And he makes it. Sub in, Sean O'Connor for Connor James. Just under three minutes left here. Temple Oak, down 12, gonna need a run now. A run about stops and baskets. It's nowhere near too late at all, but it's getting more and more difficult with every possession. Houston looking for the ball inside and gets it. Nice move over his right shoulder. Nice little jump hook. This is, this is where the stops are needed. Dan James does well. Eight second call. Great defense from Dan James. Great defense. That's the first stop that they need. Temple Oak for me need to get more plays of going to Houston and an isolation on the block. He's played quite well. And going over his right shoulder, he's very comfortable. Though Peter Lynch is big, he's not as tall as Houston. So if he can get him on a corner by himself, it looks very promising. Down to the basket. Great rebound, Phil Taylor, and back up. Oh, Phil Taylor loses out there. Peter Lynch, charge taken by Sean O'Connor on Peter Lynch. That's the third turnover now in a row. That streak of that streak of takes now has has started at least. Dan James for three. Off Sean O'Connor rebound and back in. Temple Oak down by six now. Just under two minutes left. Owen Darling pulls the ball back out as DCU will set up. There's another take. Dan James again at the heart of it. 
Luke Thompson for three. Oh, just rims out. It's great defense here from Tempelo. DCU look to run the ball down. Take a bit of time out of the clock here. David O'Keefe pump fake. Makes it easy roll. Not exactly a dagger yet, but Temple Oak down by eight. Houston for three. Makes it. One minute, 15 seconds left. Temple Oak down by five. No need for fouls here. Not yet. Screen here, Peter Lynch gets the ball. Out in the wing, one minute left. David O'Keefe. David O'Keefe has shot the ball really well. He's keeping them at bay at the moment. Great pass from Peter Lynch. Great pass inside. And a block from Quill. Big plays from DCU here at the moment. Cross court pass from, from Donnelly. Foul start now. 36 seconds left. These free throws here could ice this game. <laughs> Darling, very cool on free throws. He's been very good at the line. Three from Sean O'Connor, makes it. Down five, 23 seconds left. Clock stops at 21 and a half seconds. Darling again to the line. Darling misses the first. That's a big miss now. Down by five, 21 seconds. Fouls can keep this game going for two or three more possessions. Darling misses it. David O'Keefe, big rebound. Travel. 17 seconds. Well, just under 18 seconds. David O'Keefe's played really well today. Dan James pushes the floor. Great take. Down by three now. <laughs> Foul here. Stops the ball. Seven and a half left. Darling again to the line. Pressure has to take a toll at this time. He's missed his last three. At the moment, it's a one possession game. Making one of these. We'll push it to a two possession game. Wayne Houston fouls out to be replaced by Temple Oak captain Shane Holman. Houston's had a, a very good game. A few plays that were a bit mad, but otherwise, that's pushed it now to a two possession game. DCU players opting to get back and set up their defense. He makes two, seven seconds. Luke Thompson for three, he misses. David O'Keefe with the rebound, and this game is done. Final score here, 79 Temple Logue, 84 DCU Saints. Fantastic game of basketball here. Temple Logue showed that even though they are very young, they are gonna do well in this league and can play with anybody. DCU showed clinical, big, run a great offense, and Peter Lynch and Owen Darling seem to have a great uh, great offensive partnership together. So again, game finishes. Temple Oak lose by five, but are in no way. Uh, sorry, losers. 
Right, I'm here with two of the DCU Saints players. Peter, I'll come to you first. Fantastic game, 22 points. How did you enjoy your first taste oh, of Irish basketball? It was great. It was great. I love playing with these guys. I love the atmosphere. I mean, couldn't ask for anything better. That was a good, good, solid win to start the season. Anything about the game stand out is different to what you're used to over in the States? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot more physical. The guys, some of them have a lot more experience, but very, very similar. Very similar. So. Great, and I think we're going to look forward to watching you a lot more this oh, season. Yeah, Best of luck with the rest of the year. Thank you. Owen, I'm going to turn to you. Um, incredible block there with a <laughs> minute or so to go. I take it that means you're back in full health. Injury worries are behind you that played you over the last year or two. That's it, yeah. Had a good pre-season there. Whole team had a good pre-season there. So I'm um, injury free now. Like a lot of lads over there. I'm just ready to go for the coming season. It was well worth just paying the admission to see that. It was great. Team's a little bit different this year. Not a huge amount of changes, but losing Emmett to retirement obviously does change the shape of your team. And you probably have to step up into a more of a leadership role. How has that been within the team, and who else has kind of stepped up to take that mantle that Emmett would have had for years? Well, Emmett, like you know, he's a um, team's player. We miss him big time. But um, it's not just me stepping up; it's the whole team stepping up. So I get like to own. He's coming in. Everyone's a voice in the dressing room. Is what we're looking for. So it's kind of not just one man; it's the whole team. And that's the way we're going to do it for the rest of the season. Okay. Final thing, maybe. Uh, Temple Oak, their first game in the league. You obviously are quite used and experienced in the league. How are they going to do? I think you got a good team, uh, very young. I know first game it's going to be hard for you, know, like a new team in, in the league. But uh, I think they got good players that can play and they can shoot as well. So they'll do. I think they do all right. Any particular ambitions for where you guys want to finish the year? Um, we just want to work on this. Just take a game at a time. We're not going to say and It's a different team. But we'll take one game at a time. And that's where we're going to go. Great. Peter Owen, fantastic job tonight. Go enjoy it, Jeff. All right, well, that wraps up most of the coverage here. We're going to go back up to Eddie for some last game uh, coverage. A reminder that you can see all of the Basketball Ireland results on our Twitter or Facebook page. More comprehensive results, including statistics, are on our basketballireland.ie website. If you go on there, you can go to the results and fixtures section. It's just up the top bar. There we're going to have stats from all the games every weekend throughout the whole season. Really hope you've enjoyed watching it. Eddie, back up to you. Finishing thoughts on this match. Temple Oak showed that though there were, and rightfully so, doubts about their ability and how young they were, I don't think they'll have too much problem in this league. They looked very calm, they looked very good. Some of the offense was, was dodgy, but then again, it was the same for DCU. It was a fantastic game of basketball, and if you want to go watch some good basketball, the Oblet and Temple Oak is not a bad place to go at all. Great crowd, plays that are good, get a great response here, and you'll feel it. I'm sure you might have felt it at home watching. Uh, it was very nice doing this. Thanks very much, and good luck.